Hey, good morning, good evening, everyone. Today we are going to discuss about model driven app, which is a power app question and answer. The way I am structuring this uh, session is first I will ask a question and I will explain the answer. So let's get started. Question What is a model driven app? A model driven app is a type of application in Power Platform that focuses on data model and user interface rather than code. These uh, model driven app kind of uh, applications are called no code, low code applications. Next question. How do model driven app differ from canvas app? Answer. Model driven apps are built based on data models and have a predefined layout while canvas apps allow for more flexible user interface design. Question. What are the key components of model driven app? Answer. The key components include entities, that those are tables, views, forms, charts, dashboards, and business processes. The next question, what is the role of common data service CDS in model driven app? The common data service CDS, now it is called as DataWords, Microsoft renamed or is going to use DataWords name going forward is the underlying data platform that stores and manages data used by model driven apps. You can think uh, this data verse as a kind of a database like uh, Oracle or uh, SQL Server or MySQL or MongoDB kind of a database. Next question. How do you create a model driven app? You can create a model driven app using a Power Apps Maker Portal by defining the data model. This maker portal is completely cloud based so the users uh, can directly go to the browser and create make dot uh, the, uh, I will provide the URL you can use that URL and go ahead and create the model driven app there is no desktop application for to create a model driven app next question what are the entities in model driven apps answer Entities are the core data structures similar to the tables in the database that stores data and define the schema for your application. Next question. How do you define relationships between entities? Answer. Relationships between entities can be defined as one to many or many to one or many to many within the dataverse. Next question. What are the different types of fields available in entities field types include text number date time lookup type choice boolean currency there are around 12 different field types next question what is a lookup field answer a lookup field is a type of field that creates the relationship between two entities allowing for selection of a record from another entity Next question, how do you implement business rules in the model driven app? Answer, business rules can be implemented using the business rules designer in the Power Apps Maker portal that is from the browser, allowing you to set conditions and actions without writing the code. Next question, what are the forms in model driven app? Answer, forms are used to display and edit data for a single record within an entity. They define the layout and controls for the user interaction, like a UI page, user, inter user interface page. Next question, what are the views in model driven app? Views are used to display list of records from an entity. They define the columns and sorting or filtering options for the data. The views are nothing but a user interface where entity list can be displayed. The number of records can be displayed. Next question. How do you customize forms? Answer. Forms can be customized by adding or removing fields, sections, tabs and subgrid. Next question. How do you create a custom view? Answer. Custom views can be created by defining the columns, filters, and sorting options in the Power Apps Maker Portal. Next question. What is a quick view form? A quick view form displays data from a related entity on a form, providing a 
quick summary without navigating away from the current record next question what is a business process flow bpf answer a bpf is a guided process that helps user to follow predefined steps to complete the business process ensuring the consistency and compliance generally business process flows are asynchronous they will be running in the background next question how do you create a business process flow bpf can be created using business process flow designers in the power app maker portal where you can define different stages steps and branching logic you can define a parallel or sequential flow next question what are the stages in a business process flow answer stages represent major phases in the process each containing steps that need to be completed to advance to the next step next question how can you trigger workflows from business process flows workflows can be triggered automatically based on events or conditions defined within the bpf such as entering or exiting a stage next question how do you handle branching in business process flow answer branching allows for different paths with, within the bpf based on the conditions or data values enabling more complex and flexible processes next question what is the role based security in model driven app answer role based security controls the access to data and functionality based on users assigned security roles next question how do you create and assign security roles security roles can be created and assigned in the power app admin center where you can define permissions for each role next question what are the field level security profiles we answer a field level security profiles restrict the access to specific fields within an entity allowing control over who can view or edit sensitive data next question how do you implement record level security answer a record level security can be implemented using the security roles teams and ownership based rules to control access to individual records next question what are the business units in model driven app answer business units are organizational structures that allow for segmentation of data and security within an organization example in an organization there can be hr department and finance department users as the financial department they are not required to know the hr department information similar to what hr folks they they are not required to know what is a balance sheet and uh, what are the uh, important uh, cash flow related information so the way we structure this uh, uh, access is based on the organization we define the business units that's how we control the access the next question what is a calculated field answer a calculated field is a field that derives value from a calculation involving other fields or by doing some mathematical operation on the field defined using a simple formula or expression next question what are the role of fields answer a role of fields aggregate data from related records such as summing up the total value of all records next question how do you use power automate with model driven apps power automate can be used to create workflows that automate processes and integrate with other systems based on events in the model driven app next question what is the purpose of virtual entity it's a very important question answer virtual entities allow you to integrate and display data from external systems within model driven app without physically storing the data in the dataverse so let us take example if the model driven app wants to access oracle database you know then there are two ways we can do that generally right let us take there is a uh, one example is a book table is there if the model driven app wants to access the book table data which is in the oracle database 
there are two ways we can do that one is to copy the data or to create a layer like a view that is called virtual entity in the power platform especially in the model driven app so just to repeat one more time what are, what is the purpose of virtual entity a virtual entity allow you to integrate and display data from external system within the model driven app without physically storing the data so this virtual entities allow to directly access the book without copying the book data from oracle into the model driven app in this use case okay next question how do you configure auditing in model driven apps auditing can be configured to track changes to data including create update delete actions that is cred operations and providing history of modification this auditing is generally required for compliance purposes next question what are the charts in model driven app charts are a visual representation of data such as bar line pie charts and can be included in the views and dashboards next question how do you create and customize dashboards dashboards can be created and customized by adding and configuring components like chart views and iframes next question what is the app designer the app designer is a tool in the power apps maker portal that allows you to define the structure and navigate your model driven app how do you use themes in model driven app themes allow you to customize appearance of your app such as colors logos to match your organization branding next question what are the subgrids and how are they used answer subgrids display related records in a grid format within a form providing a detailed view of child records associated with the parent entity next question how do you integrate model driven app with other microsoft services model driven apps can integrate with other microsoft services like sharepoint outlook teams using connectors power automate and built-in integrators next question what are web resources a answer a web resource our web resources are a custom elements like html javascript css and other images that can be used to enhance the functionality of the model driven app next question how do you use apis with model driven app apis including the dataverse web api can be found programmatically access and manipulate data within the model model driven app so these apis are another way to interact with the model driven app uh, you know if a third party system want to integrate with your model driven app you can use the apis you can expose your uh, you know model driven app services via apis next question how do you handle data imports and exports in the model driven app imports and exports can be managed using the built-in tools such as data import wizard excel templates export services for ongoing synchronization next question how do you troubleshoot performance issues in the model driven app they can be troubleshooted by analyzing slow queries optimizing the data structure minimizing the custom scripts and using the monitoring tools next question what are the some of the best practices for designing the model driven app best practices include defining a clear data model using business rules and processes effectively minimizing the custom code and focusing more on user experience and accessibility if you minimize the custom code really that is going to be very helpful the reason is microsoft periodically releases the upgrades if you write more custom code when you are trying to upgrade the your power app or the core components or system entities it becomes difficult so always best practice is try to minimize the custom code next question how do you handle version control for model driven app a version control can be managed using solutions and patches in dataverse along with source control systems like git for custom code and configuration file next question what are the solutions and how are they used answer solutions are packages that contain components like entities forms views uh, you know virtual agents 
and uh, workflows uh, or flows or uh, power uh, automate flows and can be used to distribute deploy manage changes across environments if you have three environments let us say sandbox dev and production environments if a person is working in the dev environment they can create a solution and bundle everything together and export it to the next environment they can export from the sandbox to the test environment or dev environment from the dev environment you developers can develop it and they can again export from dev environment to the production environment next question how do you migrate model driven app from one environment to another environment i think we answered it using the migrate migration can be performed using the importing and exporting the solutions so that completes 50 questions and answers so thanks for staying uh, with me hope you learned something this is very interesting uh, this model driven app especially in the power platform is one of the you know important uh, applications uh, as you guys know all the dynamics 365 applications crm applications and erp applications are written in model driven app thanks for tuning in bye for now